Hi, Scorpio. You know, I had channeled a song for y'all. My What a Size Scorpio. It's actually the song Money Trees um, by Ka um, oh, Kendrick Lamar. Money Trees, okay? Because I put this on for y'all. And I just hear somebody saying, Yabish, 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 Yabish. <laughs> so I don't know if you're listening to Money Trees right now by um, Kend Kendrick Lamar. But um, if you don't know what song I'm talking about, just YouTube it. You know, put it on YouTube, Google it, or whatever. You'll find it. But anyway, hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Brooklyn Nice Tarot. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, cross watchers are welcome okay make sure you hit the big red subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification ring and the ding bell so you won't miss out on none of the content that i post and you'll be notified every time i upload a video for y'all okay make sure you do that and if you are subscribed gang 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 thank y'all so much i love y'all for all the love and support y'all showing me thank y'all so much for subscribing to my channel showing your girls left now the reason why I'm speeding up is because I have a lot of readings to do. I'm going to try to get as many in as I can, okay? Because I still got to deal with my kids at the end of the day. All right? So, I hope y'all understand that, okay? And I hope if I'm going too fast for y'all, just kind of rewind it, you know, to catch what I'm saying. I am going to slow down periodically, but if I do channel stuff from Spirit, I have to speed up. If you know Tarot, you know. All right? Energies are... It's flowing. So if I if I if I channel something, I'm gonna just have to go do that. Um, side note: If somebody sends you a message, a DM, or email asking you if you want a personal reading with my name, that is not me. I would not text you, call you, DM you, send you no message. That is your free will. If you want to send me donations or do personal reading, my description, everything about me is in the description box down below. I also thank y'all for the donations y'all been sending me. Y'all been showing your girls a love. Now, we're already two minutes in, which is that's too much time that I've wasted on your reads. I'm like, I get it, I'm like, I read. Alright. So, I feel like you're dealing with a Leo Aries Sagittarius. So, this is someone who's basically waiting. So, I feel like either you're embodying this energy or this is someone you're dealing with that's waiting for you or you're waiting for them or you're waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for travel, waiting for money, waiting for email, text messages, or you're waiting for somebody to call you. Wait in, um, just a lot of wait in, but I feel like somebody you're dealing with has turned their back to the situation, is looking to see what else out there, looking to expand. I feel like this person may have blocked you, okay. Um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, but I feel like, uh, with this travel, someone's indecisive, or with this waiting, um. You don't see something coming, or someone you're dealing with is refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things. Okay, maybe there's a lack of information, so like I said, or block communication. So, like I said, you're waiting for somebody to return a call and they blocked you. You're waiting to travel to, towards someone, but you're indecisive. You don't know if you should. Okay, because there's a new passionate beginning happening right here. Okay, you could be dealing with the Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Okay, I feel like somebody wants a new passionate beginning with you or you, them. Okay, um, there's a lot of growth here between you and this person. You guys have a lot of potential for growth. Okay, there's a lot of growth within something you're creative in, something that you're taking on that um, you're very passionate about, you're very creative about. I'm sorry y'all hit the table. Hold on, let me tell my kids to calm down. All right, y'all, we back. Sorry about that. So, I see the temperance card here for you. Could be dealing with a cancer, Pisces. This is you, Scorpio. Okay, I feel like... Something is going to take some patience. Okay, you're going to have to be patient with yourself or situation. Because there's balance that needs to be brought into the situation. I feel like uh, there's a lot of healing that needs to be done in the next seven days. Okay. Oh, I forgot. This is a weekly reading for the next seven days. Like seven days for the week. I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't. I didn't even mean to do that. I didn't call it. Okay. I'm very sorry. Please forgive me. I feel like, but seriously though, I feel like you're healing, right? And there's balance being brought into your life right now. But I feel like you're healing from some type of betrayal. The Ten of Swords. You could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody's betrayed you, or you know, the other way around. Um, someone here though is feeling stabbed in the back. 
um, betrayed, completely let down. You know, this is you're done with something, okay? You, you, you. There's some healing that needs to be had here because you're you're done with something. Somebody betrayed you, okay? This was some um, hidden information or a secret, something that is not yet known, okay? You don't really know why this happened, but um, I feel like um, you're not really telling people about this. You're like the keeper of the hidden secrets. You could be dealing with the cancer. And this is your energy. So I feel like the letters J and B may be significant. The initials. Okay. Um, your name may be Javon or uh, Brian or Jessica. Um, Brittany. But I feel like you're keeping things to yourself. You're not really saying anything about this. But you're very intuitive. I feel like you are tapping in. You're listening to your intuition. And you're balancing, you're balancing things out right here, okay, with the Two of Pentacles. You could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You're balancing things out. There's a lot of things you could be juggling in your life. A lot of things that's going on around you. Or you're just trying to figure things out, figure out um, how to bring balance, okay. I feel, I feel like someone here is juggling two ideas, two jobs, two people, two... You know, it doesn't have to be people. It's just um, two places, two things, two ideas, or just going back and forth about in your head about this situation. We're going to clarify, okay? Because we're already six minutes in, and um, I want to go a little bit faster. I don't want to speed up too much for you guys because I want you guys to understand everything that I'm saying. Ball for ball, word for word. Now, let me stop. I want y'all to understand everything that I'm saying. And if I do say weird things or, you know, say something that's, you know, out of the ordinary, I'm channeling something, right? I'm channeling something. Something, something, something. Something, something. Who listening to Maxwell? Honey, do something, something, something. Yeah. That's my song. It's something, something, something. <laughs> Sat and sat and sat there. <laughs> Who at the bottom of the deck? Yeah, so you're moving forward. You are moving forward. You are moving forward. You are moving forward. Okay, this could be like you transitioning, moving from one place to another, different state, cities, town, country, home. Someone's moving. Sends the wheel, sat and sat and sat and clarify the ace of wands for the next seven days. Who? Um, shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Like I said, someone wants to start a new passion. New passionate. I'm about to say new passionate and creative. A new passionate beginning with you, right? Someone wants to do the right thing with the justice card, whether this is you or this person. This could be a Libra that you're dealing with. The, the scale is being balanced out. So someone wants to do the right thing. Okay, there's also um, like a new beginning here happening. Hmm. I don't know how to say this, but if this is a court date, a court case, I feel like um, the scale is being balanced out. A decision has not yet been made, but a decision needs to be made. All right. But someone's very passionate about stepping up and doing the right thing. Yeah. Someone could be obsessing over like this court case or um, just obsessed about you. Okay. Someone has an addiction here. You could be dealing with a Capricorn to drugs, alcohol, sex, TV, eating, anything you're doing too much of. Okay. So you're getting your justice though. You're getting justice. Okay. So I feel like someone is obsessing over something. Could be this court situation like you want to have a passionate um creative endeavor right something that you're very creative and something that you're starting something that uh, you see growth in something that you have a lot of potential in but there's a court case that you're obsessing over right now okay and that's why the temperance card is here for some of you okay you're needing to heal okay from this because you're obsessing if this is a new passion in the beginning between you and a person, okay, I feel like they want to step up and do the right thing, and they are obsessed with you, okay, and this person is trying to compromise and bring balance into your life or in the situation. There's a lot of stories here. Take what resonates, leave what don't, okay? If it doesn't fit, don't make it 
stick, okay? Now, let's clarify that temperance card. Because I, I feel like I should have been over there. But I feel like, yeah, you're going back and forth about something in your head. Or a situation, or two people, two places, or two, two jobs that you're juggling. Two jobs, two ideas, two, you know, just juggling up a lot of things in life. Why is the temperance card for the next week? This is for the next seven days, okay? So it depends on when you watch it. It'll start from there. This is timeless, so it doesn't really matter. It's not my timing. It's divine timing, okay? Divine timing. And you're closing out a cycle, okay? I feel like this may require some travel, so you might have to be patient before. you. This, 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 this travel may require you to be patient. You're needing patience with some type of travel or you're, 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 you're bringing balance into your life. Balance is being brought into your energy um, because you're closing the cycle out. Or someone someone wants to compromise with you because um, they want to come back around to you. They have unfinished business with you with the world here. Okay. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yeah, this is like somebody that wants to make a peace offer, is making you an offer. This could be a torch for a Capricorn page pentacles. I feel like you're younger than this person. This person is younger than you, but that's like a peace offering. Somebody wants to make peace with you, all right? Or this is a new job that you're going after, a new, something new here. This is something new. A new person could be here too, torch for a Capricorn, or just something new, okay? A new job. I feel like you guys get into a new hobby of filling out new job applications, or this is like, uh, um... You manifesting, okay, you're manifesting a financial opportunity. So there's a financial opportunity presenting itself to you at this time um, in the next seven days of May. What is the Ten of Swords doing here? Clarify the Ten of Swords for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you. It's like so weird because like there's a car sitting outside my house. It could be my neighbor's friend, but I don't know who that is. <laughs> Guys and girls, yeah, I feel like right now you're in the stagnant energy. I feel like um, you're feeling like you're, you're in limbo, like you really don't know what is going on. Like there's some nostalgia, okay, but I feel like at this time you're seeing things from a different perspective because I feel like you're in a stuck energy, right? But you're feeling completely let down because there's a delay possibly in some type of travel, like I said, with the three of wands there. We'll go back to the three wands and see why that's there. Y'all already know how I do. But there's some type of betrayal and you're feeling like stagnant or somebody have you feeling completely let down, okay? And you're feeling stuck, like in limbo, like just just hanging, hanging around, you know, you feel like you're just hanging, but not hanging, literally hanging, but like stuck, left hanging. And somebody left you hanging, feeling completely let down, like somebody left you hanging or you're stuck um, waiting like doing a lot of waiting, but I feel like you're seeing things from a different perspective here in the next seven days. Yeah, this people want to work with you, collaborate with you. This could be like a third. I'm not seeing a third party situation, but if this is a third party situation, this is like a work situation. It's not like like this is not a third party situation where um, there's cheating involved and stuff like that. This is like a third party situation where um, people want to work with you, collaborate with you. Okay, you might be. Getting offered a job, somebody, a manager and a co-worker or a, a boss and a manager or two people that work in this environment are going to come to you and ask you if you want to work with them or they're going to contact you and say, hey, you want to work for our company? We've seen the work that you've been doing and we like the work that you've been doing. Do you want to work here? We want to work with you. We want to, um, we want you to work in our company. We want you to collaborate with us. We, we have new ideas for you. Or we like your ideas, you know, and we want to collaborate with you. Okay? I don't know. I don't know. Why is the high priestess here? Clarify the high priestess for Scorpio. Yes. I feel like you're not really telling people about this secret. So this hidden information or this secret is hidden information from you. Okay? There's something you don't know about yet. There's something that's not yet known. It hasn't been revealed yet. But I feel like you're listening to your intuition. And you're sitting in your power with the Queen of Wands. You could be dealing with the Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Whew, this could be a baby mama, okay, that you're dealing with. Um, like uh, a fair skin, brown skin woman, about five eight, mm, between five seven, five six, five eight. Um, this, this <sighs> you are sitting in your power, definitely. But I feel like in in in, in, uh, in the week of May for the next seven days, 
This person has a lot of confidence, a lot of courage, is sexy, enthusiastic, generous. And I feel like um, there's a lot of passion that you have for this person. This person looking good in the next seven days, okay? Or in the week of May or whenever day, you know, this person is looking real, real sexy. Ooh. Told you it was a Leo, okay? You, this person makes you very, very happy. You make them very, very happy, okay? They have a lot of fun with you, okay? They love your energy. They love being around you. Or you love being around this person. It's something going on, Okay? But they make you so very happy. Yeah, you could be living with this person, sharing resources, property. This could be your spouse, okay, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a mother, someone you have children with, or someone you're married to. This is um someone you see as wifey material, or a wife, or your wife, or they see you as their husband. This doesn't have to be a male. Uh, I mean, well, it doesn't have to be a female, obviously. Yeah. Gender doesn't matter in tarot. Okay, it doesn't matter. This could be a male with feminine energy. But, you know, I feel like this is a spouse or this is someone you work with or do business with. Sorry, y'all. I just got a notification. And under that was a five of wands. So I feel like you're conflicted but then about some things. Why are the two of pentacles here? Why are the two of pentacles here? Clarify the two of pentacles for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the next seven days. For the week of May 2021. Why are the two of pentacles here? What is this juggling? What is this juggling about? Clarify the two of pentacles. Spirit guides, angels, thank you. Oh, ooh, wow. Six of swords in reverse. So someone's going back and forth in their head with the two of pentacles and with the six of swords, how they can't move forward. Someone can't move on. I feel like this is an air sign you're dealing with, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone can't leave you behind. Someone... Um, can't move on. They can't, they can't, they have no peace. Someone has no peace. Somebody could have moved away in the past, but they want to come back. Someone is juggling the idea of wanting to come back around or come back. That someone can't move on. So someone is going back and forth in their head about how they can't move on from something. Okay. Something that makes them very happy. They have a lot of fun. Like I said with you, you could be dealing with a Leo. Okay. But I feel like you're being... Something is being revealed. Okay. Something is being illuminated to you in the month, in the week of May. Okay. Why the Six of Swords here in reverse? Clarify the Six of Swords in reverse. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, clarify this. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, it was it was reversed, but it flipped upright. Yeah, I feel like someone here is very indecisive about what to do. This could be an air sign dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but I feel like with the Two of Pentacles, someone's going back and forth about how they can't move on from something, and it could be, you know, that someone is blocked, or there's a lack of information. I feel like you don't know everything that's going on or just some, um, someone here is refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things. Someone could be closed off, blocked off. So I feel like you're, you're going back and forth about something you can't move on from and it's got you feeling closed off and blocked off right here. Yeah, because you want to rush in towards something passionately with the Knight of Wands or somebody you, but I feel like this person is a player, okay? This person is flighty in and out, you know, um, getting cookies somewhere else. But because it is spread right here, there's no third party situation right here. This also is a loyal man, okay? Someone who wants to rush in passionately towards you or use someone else. All right, and under that, look again. I feel like you're conflicted within about something, right? This could be actual fuss and fighting going on between you and Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Okay, um, yeah, this is a spouse, someone you live with, um, work with, or do business with, someone you share resources, property with. If you don't live with this person, you work with this person. Okay, what is the challenge for Scorpio? This did flip, but I don't know. I don't know. 
Why, what is the challenge? Clarify the Two of Swords for the week of May 2021. Oh, that just fell out of my hand. It just fell out of my hand. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Hierophant. I feel like either you're married to this person or you're married or they're married. But I feel like you have a spiritual connection with this person. Okay, I feel like this person or you are very spiritual. It could be dealing with a Taurus. I feel like you're getting advice from a spiritual advisor, a tarot reader, or some or um someone who's like a pastor, a preacher, or, 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 or a mentor, or somebody. You're getting advice from something. Somebody about something. You're getting advice about something here. Because you're feeling closed off. Okay. Um, you are basically going back and forth about things, right, that's going on, and you can't move on from it, right? You just got you feeling closed off and locked off and shit like that. And you're trying to get some advice or trying to get an insight from someone that's has a um who's wise, someone older than you. I feel like someone who has a lot of wisdom, a spiritual advisor, like I said, a pastor, a preacher, a a, a, a mentor, or a, a, a tarot reader, or um this is a spiritual connection that you have with someone. You you you're married to this person, or you're married, or they're married. Take it high, resonate, y'all. There's just a lot of stuff here because someone is coming in. Now, this is a part of the challenge with the uh, higher five. Someone's coming in. You could be dealing with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, this is something being brought to your attention. Okay, so I'm bringing this to your attention. I'm not an air sign. Okay, but <laughs> um, I also feel like something's being brought to your attention, right? And I feel like someone is rushing in. This could be um, a heated discussion or argument. Right, where you two are arguing, going back and forth, you can't get a word in edgewise, and you know, they keep cutting you off when you say something, you know, or this is just some bad news or a message coming to you. Okay, so it could be some communication in the form of communication, like a text, a phone call, an email, or somebody's literally rushing towards you to give you some bad news, or it's gonna start an argument. Okay, you're gonna be arguing with somebody like, fuck this shit. You know, I'm, I'm just hearing it. I'm sorry. I heard fuck this shit. Why well, is the hard find here? Give me four more cards for the future energies for Scorpio. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in to the channel. I really appreciate you guys watching these whole entire videos. Okay, this means so much to me. And I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel. Wait a minute. That's lit. If you have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up and hit the big subscribe button. A card fell on that floor. Hold on, y'all. I got to get that card. Because, you know, I don't leave cards. Some tarot readers do leave cards on the floor that they drop. But I don't. Because there's a message in there that you need to know. So, with this spiritual advisory uh, information that you're getting... What came out first? Okay. This came out first. I want to do this in order, you guys, so it can make sense. I feel like, again, you're getting advice from a spiritual, uh, wise person with the higher font, somebody older than you. You're older than this person. This could be a terror reader, a mentor, a pastor, a preacher, or somebody that's very spiritual. You have a spiritual connection with this person. You're married, they're married, or y'all married together. I don't know. You put the pieces high where they go. You you know where you belong. But I feel like you're going back and forth still about the situation. You're trying to find balance. You're trying to maintain some balance. But spirit is letting you know because two of pentacles is his twice. Uh, you may have a diary. I feel like some of you are scripting just for a small amount of you. But if you're not scripting, okay. This is spirit asking you, do not forget about bills you gotta pay, or or things in your calendar, uh, a lot of uh, commitments that you made, schedule trips. Do not forget these important things, okay? Because I feel like you're juggling a lot, and you might lose focus. I don't know where that came from, okay? And I feel like here you're trying to figure some things out right here, okay? I feel like this is premature, immature communication coming towards you, okay? Possibly from an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Or this is um, you looking at some type of document you got in the mail. Possibly from a lawyer or, or email or some type of message. Or communications coming in from a lawyer who's doing like in, uh, research or investigations or something like that. But I feel like um, 
someone it, it, you're going back and forth about things you're trying to find some balance here and you're trying to figure things out okay you're trying to do some research some investigate some um but I feel like someone could be spying on your social media or spying on you or you're spying on someone. Okay, trying to figure out more about them. Or um, this is like um, premature, immature communication. So maybe I feel like you're going back and forth with somebody here. Back and forth, conversating. And it's premature, immature communication. Dealing with the Page of Swords. He could be dealing with the Gemini Libra Aquarius, like I said. There is no... This this is imbalanced. There's no love. There's no balance. Okay. There's like it's just imbalanced. The relationship is imbalanced, or so someone is imbalanced right here. But I feel like somebody. Oh, this is Gemini. Okay, I'm sorry. With this King of Pentacles in reverse. Someone is disloyal or dishonest. Someone is not stable. Okay, so someone's imbalanced and not stable right here. Um, I feel like someone is losing money and really um, losing like the way of the boundaries. Like I feel like there's really no boundaries here. I feel like uh, someone feels like um, they're losing money or they're unstable or their business is imbalanced or someone is disloyal, dishonest. Yeah, and they want a new passionate uh, beginning with you. You could be dealing with the Leo, uh, Aries, Sagittarius. You see how I slowed down? I don't know why, you know, where that came from. I feel like somebody's sluggish. I'm getting that energy, you guys. Somebody's tired and sluggish because I'm slowing down. But anyway, somebody wants to have a um, new creative, new creative, what am I saying? A new passionate beginning with you. They see a lot of potential for, uh, a lot of potential between you two, a lot of growth between you two. But somebody is unstable. So someone's in balance, unstable, and they're coming in to like use the male phallic to be intimate. Okay, if this is about a lawyer bringing you some type of communication, I feel like you're imbalanced and unstable. Okay, because you want, um, you want to start like this new, passionate, creative endeavor that you have that you're trying to start. That you have a lot of potential, there's a lot of growth in it for you. But I, that's why the three of wands is here. Aries, your Sagittarius. So I feel like you're waiting on something. You're waiting for a phone call. You're waiting for an email. You're waiting for a text message. You're waiting for someone to return. You're waiting for um, your ships to come in. You're waiting for money. Whatever you're waiting on. Whatever you're waiting on. And I feel like you don't have all the information with the two of swords. We looked at this earlier. Okay. And someone is coming in to make you an offer. This is a new job offer. A new something new. A new person coming in to make a peace offer. Not a new person. Someone new coming in to make you an offer, like a job offer, a raise, a bonus, a promotion, or this has something to do with your hobbies, or this is um something you're manifesting, like a financial opportunity. A financial opportunity is presenting itself to you, okay? This is a new job you're trying to get. So I feel like you're filling out applications, and you're trying to get a new job, a new home, a new car, something new here. Or someone's coming in to make a peace offering with you. Somebody that's maybe this person's waiting on you. Maybe you blocked this person. They wait. They want you to make a peace offering to them. Okay, I don't know. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's see what messages your spirit guys have for you. What messages do you have for Scorpio for the next seven days? Big happy changes. Look, big happy changes. Okay, there's big. Changes happening for you. You're going to be very happy with these changes. Very, very happy. I'm so excited for you. I'm so, so excited. Yeah. At the bottom of the deck, there's people to coming to help you. So, if you're asking people about some things that you're going through, I feel like these people are going to tell you some similar stories that resonate with you. They went through the same thing. And they gave you some insight. All right. Let's see what other messages you have for Scorpio before we close out. Spirit guys, angels, ancestors, universal energy. Wait. Yeah, so your spirit guides, your angels want you to, if you need help, they want you to ask your angels 
Okay, I feel like the next card may be meditation brings answers. I don't know. But we'll see what comes out. But I feel like your spirit guides want you to be, get connected to the divine and ask your angels for help if you need some help. Or if you're looking for some guidance, or if you're looking for answers, just ask your angels for help. What other messages do you have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising. Wait, another card flip that in. Oh, let go. Let go. Let go. Whatever you're holding on to from the past, past hurt, past pain, past confusion, past relationships, um, it grudges, um, stress, depression, or, or a person who's not treating you right, let them go. Let it go. Let this energy go. Whatever energy you're holding on to that's got you feeling some type of way, let it go. Okay, look. What the fuck did I just say? Meditation brings answers. What did I just say, y'all? Yo, I cannot make this shit up to you. I'm telling y'all, I would not lie to y'all. Your spirit guides want you to meditate. And that's why they're asking you. They're telling you, they're advising you. Ask your angels. They want you to meditate. I just told somebody this earlier. Meditate. It'll bring answers. And look at the card that popped out, which is clarification. I ain't lying to you. I ain't lying to you. And once you let this go, okay, big happy change is going to happen for you. You're going to be so freaking happy. Look, I'm not lying to you. I cannot lie to you. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Your spirit guides are confirming this is yes. You're making the right decision. Whatever you're about to do, whatever you're about to do, whatever you're about to do. Whatever path you're going down, you know, this is the right path. This is the right path, okay? Big happy changes coming for you. Big happy changes in this. Your spirit guys say yes, this is true. Yes, all right? We went over the amount of time that we were supposed to go over, but I feel like I'm really excited for y'all because y'all got all these messages, and I hope y'all got the clarity, and, you know, I hope y'all got some answers that y'all need, but y'all spirit guys want y'all to tap in and, you know, connect and with them, Okay? Thank you so very much, guys, for coming to the channel. I appreciate you guys that have not subscribed yet. Give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah, bitch. Nah, let me stop. <laughs> I love y'all so, so much. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the big ring -a -ding, -a -ding, -a ding bell so you won't forget to um, get notified, okay, for all the videos that I upload so you won't miss out on a single thing. And if you already subscribed to my channel, again, gang, 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 I enjoyed you guys' company today. I really did. And I love y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for all the love and support and the donation. Mm -hmm. Sending you love, light, and just my good energy, okay? You see this money, this abundance. I got this up here for you, okay? Take that, take that, take that. I hope you're meditating on this visual because some big happy changes coming to you, okay? And until next time, Scorpio. Bye, lovelies.